trip, you wish them two words, Leif Lish Shalom, go to peace. But uh, when someone passes away and they go on their final journey from this world to the next world, we change one letter in the greeting. And instead of saying Leif Lish Shalom, which means go to peace, we change the letter and we say Leif Bish Shalom. Leif Bish Shalom means go in peace. And rabbi said, why do we change the greeting? And the answer is because in this world, there's no full peace. There's no rest. Therefore, you only say go to peace, towards peace. Because there may be peace, but after there's peace, there's more work to be done. There's no final rest and peace in this world. As the verse says, Adam la'amel yivaleh. Man was created to toil. This is the world of action. This is the world of doing. This is the world of effort. However, when one goes to their final rest, as we say in English, rest in peace, we say, Leich Bishalom, now you can rest. So in this work, we have to be ready to work hard, to toil, to exert effort. However, there's two types of toil. In this week's Torah portion, you know, everything's in the Torah, everything's found in the Torah. So the news today, of course, is the Taliban. This week's Torah portion tells us about the original Taliban. It's called Amalek. <laughs> talks about Amalek who attacks the Jewish people after they left Egypt, the first terrorist organization. Today's Taliban is direct descendants from Amalek. And the Torah tells us there are always going to be evil people in the world. And the Torah commands us in this week's Torah portion to wipe out Amalek and all their descendants because they will always be a nemesis, they will always be a source of persecution and hatred and evil in this world. So the Torah says when Amalek attacked the Jewish people as they left Egypt, the Torah says, Va'atem ayef v'yageya. Now, what does ayef v'yageya mean? It means in the English it says, you were tired and weary. You were tired and weary. You just left Egypt, so you were tired and weary. But the question is, in Hebrew everything's precise. But in English, what's the difference between tired and weary? It's all the same, right? But in Hebrew it's two different words, ayef v'yageya. Torah would have used two words if it could have used one word. Could have said, you were tired from Egypt, from slavery. Why tired and weary, or yageya? So we go all the way back to the portion of Tolos. We find that when Asaph comes back from his hunting expedition, his brother is making, Yaakov is making the red lentil soup. It says he comes back from the field and he's tired. Who are He was tired. And he says to his brother, give me some of that red soup, pour it down my throat. Ki ayefano, because I am tired. So what's the difference between ayef and yageya? Ay, ayef means I'm exhausted. We all know the feeling at the end of the day, I'm exhausted, I'm tired. But yageya comes from the word toil, effort. Yagiya, as the verse says, yagiya kapecha, you should live by the work of your hands. So we all know there's two types of tiredness. One type of tiredness is like Asa's tiredness. I did nothing meaningful today. I was just out hunting all day. I have nothing to show for my day. I'm just exhausted. I'm tired. But another type of tired is, yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm drained physically, emotionally, but I had a great day. I accomplished so much. I have what to show for my efforts, for my, for my weariness. And therefore the Torah says, you were both tired and weary. Some Jews were just tired. Others were yageya from their toil, from their effort. And that's the point. The point is that in life we all have to work hard. The question is that we have something to show for. We're all going to be tired. Every day we say, Modani, God, thank you for renewing my soul. We go to sleep exhausted, we wake up refreshed. The question is at the end of the day, tonight, when you go to bed exhausted, will you look back and say, it was a long, tiring day, but look what God achieved. Look how much goodness, how much righteousness, how much kindness, how much mitzvahs I performed today. We're going through the high holiday season soon. Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah, Sukkot. You could say it's tiring. Fast 25 hours, you have to go to Shulah Rosh Hashanah, you have to build a sukkah, you have to do all these things. But at the end of the high holiday season, it could be just tiring or it could be achievements. Yes, I worked hard, I have to put a lot of emotional effort into examining myself and bettering myself, but look what I've achieved. And when we look at the Taliban, when we think about Malay, when we think about tiredness and weariness, a lot of questions that come up about obviously the withdrawal and the Afghanistan army fleeing. You know, were they tired, were they weary, were they ayef, were they yageya? But here's the amazing thing I read in the news today, or yesterday. There's one Jew left in Afghanistan. His name is Zavulan Simanto. He's 62 years old. Now, if you look at the history of Afghanistan, about 100 years ago, 
there was about 10,000 Jews there. I'm sorry, a hundred years ago there was about a hundred thousand Jews in Afghanistan. They don't know how far it goes back, but it's thousands of years that Jews, some say as far back as the Babylonian exile. But then in 1948, when Israel was established, there were about 5,000 Jews left in Afghanistan. And the beginning of the 20th century, they started making Aliyah, but after 48, they pretty much all left. And whatever few hundred were left, by 1979, when the Soviets invaded, they left. There's one Jew left, and he refuses to go. Why? Because he maintains the only synagogue in Afghanistan. Mm. And his life is in danger, and he says he knows that the Taliban considers him an infidel, and he has family in Israel, and he's been offered opportunities, he said, to go to Israel, but he refuses. He says, I can't abandon the last synagogue in Afghanistan. And he continues to pray every day with his tefillin and do all the holidays and blow the shofar Rosh Hashanah. The last Jew left in Afghanistan. And I think about this expression where the Jews were tired and weary. And this Jew says, I'm not tired, I'm not weary, I'm not withdrawing, I'm not leaving, I'm not giving up. I'm 62 years old, I've been here my whole life, I'm not going anywhere. And whether God should watch over him, he should be safe and protected. But that spirit of, I'm a Jew, and if I'm the last Jew in Afghanistan, I'm not leaving, because there has to be a Jewish presence in Afghanistan, with the hope that Mashiach will come, and one day the world will redeem from these evildoers, the descendants of Amalek and the Taliban and other terrorist organizations. But that's the spirit of the Jew, and that's what we learned when we left Egypt. You can't be tired and weary, because if you're tired and weary, the enemy attacks. When you show strength and fortitude and conviction, then you prevail as the Jews have. Thank you.